US and UK inflation falling faster than expected, causing euphoria in equity markets overnight, fueling a risk on recovery that could continue for a while, uh, and certainly erasing fears of one last hike this year. However, expectations of rapid interest rate declines are probably premature, as we saw from yesterday's better than expected UK employment and wages data. Headline measures of inflation are falling faster than core measures, and it's always been the core measures that the policymakers have focused on to date. More problematic than that is the reality of our new world of fiscal dominance. So central bankers know that their political masters need to borrow more money, potentially much more, and to do that they need to issue more bonds. The fiscal requirement for the UK in this regard will be under the spotlight at next week's autumn statement where Jeremy Hunt needs to finance the highest proportion of public spending to GDP since 1975, which time resulted in the UK deciding to seek an IMF bailout. So at a time when MPs will be demanding pre-election sweeteners, rates, certainly longer term rates, are not coming down quickly anytime soon. However, investors will enjoy the traditional pre-Christmas rally. A broker's comment this morning that now is the time to mortgage your house and buy the FTSE 250 is probably not advisable, albeit the sentiment is understandable. That's the main feature in the macro today. In other news, the two leading superpowers are meeting today in California. Joe Biden meets President Z to try and patch things up. A thawing of relationship here would be welcome news for Biden as he seeks the election next year and for Z because he needs help with his sluggish economy. The prize for all of us would be the prospect of the chance of peace and the halt to deglobalization.